This time on Low Boost, I'm going to go over the do's and most importantly, the don'ts of car meets. Hit the intro. All right, it's that time of year again where everybody gets their cars and, and projects they've been working on all winter long and gets them back out in the open to showcase to everybody else. For me, it's one of the most exciting times of the year because everybody's been working on their stuff all winter long and it's really cool to see everybody else's blood, sweat, and tears that they've put into their car come to fruition as everybody brings them out and we all get to see them either race at track days, Mexico, or uh, you know at the drag strip as well throughout the whole course of the summer. But there's a couple of things I wanna lay out to some people who've never actually gone to car meets um, and what you should not do at them. Whether it's an organized car show that is scheduled weeks in advance or an impromptu meet that is scheduled just hours in advance, usually at night, car meets are a great opportunity to get out there and see what other people are doing with their cars and really just kind of talk to other like-minded people that love their vehicles. But there are a bunch of things that especially newbies do when they come to these car shows that really is not good for the car community. And when I mean community, the car community is a community, but the meets also take place in communities. And there's a lot of things you can do to really disrupt things for everybody else. Now, listen, especially some of the younger kids, I know you spent a lot of time, you know, saving up all your money to finally get out and get a car and bring it out to a, to a meet or a car show. And I don't want to discourage anybody that's just starting out. We've all just started out, you know, getting 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 into the car scene, getting into racing, um, and we just not, we just need a little bit of guidance. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Say you just got done buying your car, you slap some wheels on it, maybe some tint, you know, uh, added a couple performance parts, an intake, and an exhaust, and you're so great. You feel you feel like a million bucks in how it sounds, and you want to go show it off. Well, let me tell you something. If you're at a car meet and you want people to notice you, you don't want to draw attention to yourself in a bad way. It draws attention to you in a negative way. Draw attention to yourself, but on your own terms. Bad ways to do it would be revving your car, two-stepping it, banging it off the rev limiter, doing burnouts, drifting. Oh, shit. oh damn! Oh my god! peeling out of a car meet, anything like that that's going to draw the attention of other people that are not into cars and the police. The police will come and they're usually pretty nice, but they usually will kick people out of car meets and a lot of times that location is now ruined and there's only so many good locations and central locations you can go to before you really kind of run out of them. And the local law enforcement, a lot of those guys are car people too. They just don't want to see people doing stupid stuff. But when you're dealing with public property, like a parking lot or a mall, they don't need probable cause. That's their jurisdiction. And they can just come by and tell everybody to scatter and get out because you're disrupting the environment that of the community. Um, and that's not good. We don't want to do that. So for all, everybody watching this video, just don't do that. If someone's having a burnout competition, two-step competition, or people just want to just do dumb shit, that's all fine and dandy because it's private property. Without significant probable cause of a, of a serious crime being committed, they're not going to just come show up and tell people to leave. Or do you want to rev a little bit when you pull up? Sure, you know, you know, pop it a little bit. Great. You got pops and bangs you drive by. That's fine too. The car is going to do that. I'm not a big fan of burbles. I like saving my turbo and I don't want to blow it up. Um, but a lot of people like doing that. But really burning out, revving. A lot of times you'll see the fastest car there is usually driving in and out the slowest. I try to be as appreciative of other builds as possible because I know I put a lot of effort into mine and I know a lot of other people put effort into theirs. And even if it's something that I don't like, like personally, I'm not a big stance guy. I'm, for, I'm function over form and I want it to handle and doing stance stuff just doesn't really do anything for me. But I appreciate people putting time and effort into their car. I'm not going to bash a stance build or tell, you know, say to the person, hey, it looks like trash or your car sucks or it's slow or it's not really fast. 
Um, I'm going to try to be as nice as possible, even if I might not like it, because I still, at the end of the day, I appreciate people for doing what they do to their car. Uh, it's just kind of how it is. Uh, obviously, there's always going to be people say, oh, imports are domestic or, you know, Euro over American. It's like, listen, well, you know, I have an American engine and a German car, so I just kind of don't fit in with anybody, really. It is about being respectful of other people, and I think we, a lot of us get distracted by that sometimes just because of first looks or you don't know somebody. Um, you know, any car that you see at a meet, someone probably put time and effort into, and it doesn't matter their budget or how much money they have. At the end of the day, if someone is spending all of their hard-earned money on their car, I just respect them for doing that because that's their passion. They could easily be doing anything else with it. The more good people in the car community, the better. The other type of attention you don't want to draw to yourself, and I can't even believe that I have to say this, but people that drink alcohol at car meets. I mean, yeah, I love a good beer, but there's a time and place to do it, and drinking in public, at least in New York State, is illegal. So if cops see you doing that, they're gonna bust up the meat and tell everybody to leave. Uh, at least, I don't know how the marijuana laws are working, but at least right now, it's not legal to do it in public that I know of that could easily change today or tomorrow, right? But for all intents and purposes, if it's if you have to question yourself what you're doing potentially could attract police attention, it probably will. The other thing that you really don't wanna do, and I see this happen in a lot of car shows, is blast your music it's really, really loud. This can be as disruptive and can attract as much negative attention to the meat as doing a giant roaring burnout because it's just loud. And other people that live in the area or the neighborhood that you're holding the meat in, they might not want that. And that's just gonna be an easy trigger for them to call the cops. So, you know, if you wanna have the music playing a little bit as you roll in and out, that's fine. But having it blasting and thumping so loud, especially after you've parked and sat down and got out of your car, it's just gonna draw attention. So as, as much as you be, as, as proud as you are about the system that you put in your car, with your speakers and subwoofers and amp and all that great stuff, uh, you know, especially a, a car meet at a public car show, it's just not gonna be the place to showcase that. A private one or, a, you know, a, a specific car show that is doing an audio competition, sure, that's, that's obviously fair game. But especially a, a car meet at night after noise curfews are done, that's a no-go, bro. At the end of the day, we all just wanna to get together, have a good time, and, and really kind of check out everybody else's cars and appreciate them individually. Uh, personally, that's what I love to do. I love to see other people's builds. I love to ask other people about their cars because I, I like to see how passionate people are about their builds. And to me, that's what makes the car scene great. And uh, it should be that way continually going forward forever. But we just have to make sure we keep it cool and don't attract police attention to ourselves, especially if we're on public property and we're basically guests in that parking lot until they ask us to leave. So my, my, my ask to people is just think about what I just said and don't be a dick. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.